Astronomers have gotten a sneak peek at what could be Earth's ultimate fate in about 5 billion years, when the Sun reaches the end of its life and engulfs the solar system's inner planets, including our own. That's because, for the first time, they've spotted what appears to be a Sun-like star gulping an orbiting planet. This particular star lies about 15,000 light-years away. During a survey of the sky, astronomers saw the star suddenly and briefly brighten, becoming about 100 times more luminous over around 10 days. Follow-up observations suggest that what they witnessed must have been the star's ingestion of a hot gas giant planet, about the size of Jupiter. In recent years, scientists have learned that our galaxy is chock-full of planets, and astronomers believe that many of them will get gobbled up at the end of their star's evolution but no one had ever caught a star in the act of swallowing a planet. About three years ago, De had been going through observations made by the Zwicky Transient Facility, an instrument near San Diego that routinely scans the skies every night, looking for flashes of cosmic fireworks. De was hoping to find erupting stars called Novi. But one particular stellar outburst looked unusual. Instead of being surrounded by hot gas, it was surrounded by molecules that can only exist at cold temperatures. And when Diz started gathering data from infrared telescopes, including archival data, he found something else surprising. This star had been brightening over time in infrared light, which can indicate the presence of dust. In fact, it turns out that this star started showing a brighter infrared signal months before it made its big outburst of light. That infrared brightness continued after the sudden flare-up. It looked almost like a pair of stars had merged, but everything was scaled down, from the energy emitted to the mass expelled. It occurred to them that this star might have merged with something smaller, like a planet. The planet could be anywhere from between a few to maybe 10 times Jupiter's mass. The researchers took all the observations they had from various telescopes and created astrophysical simulations, that basically let them recreate what must have occurred. In the beginning, before the outburst, the star looks like our sun will look when it starts to run out of fuel and begins to bloat. Then, as it puffs up, the star's outer atmosphere comes into contact with the orbiting gas giant planet. That gas drifts outward and cools, forming dust, along with bits of the doomed planet that also blow outward. As the planet goes through the star's atmosphere, the drag makes the planet's orbit tighten. It gets closer and closer to the star, and, as it does, the stellar atmosphere gets denser and denser. That makes its orbit tighten even more. When this runaway process reaches its conclusion, the planet plunges into the star, making the star briefly balloon up. Some of the star's outer layers get ejected, creating even more dust. Although the astronomers can't see the planet at all, their calculations suggest that the final plunge only took a couple of days to a week. Later, however, the star looked very similar to how it did before the outburst, almost like the star ate that planet and forgot about it completely. The eventual demise of Earth, after the Sun first engulfs Mercury and Venus, will probably proceed much like this. But the Earth is so much smaller that its engulfment would generate less light and be even less of a perturbation for the aging Sun. But some theorists think the Earth won't be a stellar snack.